Unlimited tanks. It's still a thing. And uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. So I'm just going to milk it. Are you mad? Comment below. You think you're mad? I don't care. Let's make unlimited tanks again. But get this. They're going to be on into war tanks. We're going to spam the crappiest tanks in the game. The tank only challenge. Into war tank challenge. Unlimited. You get the idea. Anyway, let's play Romania. Why? Because we get a lot of opportunities to declare war early game with Balkan dominance. I'm going to spam a load of really shite divisions and uh, produce those immediately. Get lots of guns and off we go. Want to get into the tactical and strategic command experience on the battlefield and the thrilling sniper experience at the same time? Come check out the sniper system in Warpath. Immerse yourself and become a sniper elite. Execute classified mission, pick a handy gun among a modern arsenal and eliminate your target. Base building, strategy, FPS, Warpath is the jack of all trades that challenges you on the ground, in the air, across iconic battlefields. This classic RTS focuses on delivering the most realistic military experience. You can unleash devastating precision strikes, command ground assaults, and conduct solo operations. Become a brilliant strategist. Build your forces and defeat your enemies with superior tactics. But remember, battle plans don't survive first contact with the enemy, so arming your troops with the appropriate weaponry is extremely important. Warpath lets you be adaptable while letting you choose from a variety of real weapons and armaments to suit any battlefield. Real maps, real battles, real struggle. Travel back and fight across historic battlefields to reshape history in your image. Logistics is absolutely vital. How you use your limited resources will either make or break you. No strategy game would be complete without diplomacy. You can form alliances to bolster your forces or even avoid wars entirely. In this game, your allies, your brothers in arms, the fires of war will forge your relationship bring you closer together and strengthen your bond the battle situation is constantly evolving to challenge you as the game progresses keeping you on your toes and forcing you to adjust your strategy you're gonna love this warpath is introducing an online tournament where you can compete with a prize pool of up to fifteen thousand dollars anyone can get in new players compete with game power senior players invite a friend to compete with the total game power of the team see for yourself click my link in the description or pinned comment to get in in now. Military factories, of course, because that's where the direction we're going. We're going to work a little bit on construction and, of course, the tank. So we're only allowed to use interwar tanks, but that doesn't mean we can't fit it out with the latest turrets, latest armor, and all the great technology of gadgets and gizmos. In this case, welded armor. We've invented welding, boys. Romania has come a long way. To increase your army size, you do the exact same thing as Germany. Spam loads of divisions, really small ones, and convert them to the larger template. This is the small one. This is the big one. And glitch is fun. And the minute they're 20% trained, boop, deploy on the front line. Prioritize the equipment. Hop in to your arm. Me, click on your equipment deals 135,000 troops in the field and to puppet bulgaria we need 400k oof we've got quite far to go so we need to deploy some more divisions just a few more select them all convert to the larger infantry template and maximum army size in the field 450 so we don't need these boys so get rid we don't need nowhere near as many divisions how convenient next up you need to go over limited conscription hop onto that we need to institute the royal dictatorship because it gives access to more manpower later on we're getting there boys trust me we're getting there. And you can start with two of the best field marshals in the game. This dude, because he's a logistic wizard. And this guy, just general, because he's uh, also an infantry expert. But funnily enough, he doesn't have the trait before it. Infantry leader. Figure that one out, hey? Before he was a leader, he was an expert. A born expert. Are we a dictator? Are we a monarchy? I don't know, but we definitely own a villa somewhere. Need to wait for the manpower to roll in very slowly. 380, 399, and... 400. Boom. Pop it. Bulgaria. One of the things I love about the Romanian focus tree is that you can start declaring wars and start popping neighbors immediately. It's so good. And they've submitted. Hungary, you're next. Oh no, we need trains. Press the magical train button. I always think this button's kind of funny in a way because if you don't have a railway system built within your nation, who are you stealing trains from? Because there's no private companies that own trains. So I, I just don't get it. But eh, Comedia, trains from nowhere. Align Hungary. And they say... Offers a friendship tree? I've never had this before. Friendship? I don't think so. Boom. Hungary. Okay, this is really good because so you can push into them and grind lots of XP. You should use this war as an opportunity to get all the XPs. And also go for a little bit of war props as well. Propaganda against the enemy? That'll come in handy. Oh no, they're last standing. Let's just wait for the last stand to expire. If you don't already know, check out my second channel to explain the exploit because I won't be explaining it in this video. But as you can see, improved equipment conversion is on the way. That never converted factories. Okay, stop saying that. All right? I hear you.
go out in the comments section. It never converted factories. All right, so you need to deploy a few more divisions in the back end. And everyone's screaming in the comments section. Why have you overstacked your general, Dave? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Uh, let's fix that. There we go. Are you happy now? All right, so you need to do some little shenanigans here because you need to make your army size larger so you can progress down the focus tree. So what you have to do is select the majority of your army, convert them to a single crappy division, make your army intentionally smaller. You might have to do it with both of your uh, generals. So your army net size is super small now. And now you can... Uh well, those things, that doesn't work. It isn't based on overall field of manpower. It's based on overall division. So it's like I'm going to have to delete the divisions. And that means now I can go for extensive conscription. But then you've got to deploy the divisions again because we need to get them back. So therefore, progress down the focus tree. Oh my, isn't this fun? At the same time, we can go for war economy now because we're over 50% war support. Boom! Economy is now open. Revise the constitution and gets 1% recruitable. So please do that one. Constitution. We need one of those. And boom! Change the divisions back over to the ones we want. Remember, it's all about grinding the right XP here and getting everything that we need. So just go for that right about now. Redeploy the army. Get on the front line. Assign a general. Again, again, again. Will it be enough for 500,000 manpower? Yes, it will. So we don't have to train any more troops now. Get them on the front line. And attack again. Grind that XP. Oh, look at that go up. Oh, yeah. Our army is all of a sudden very trained, very skilled. Once you've attacked a wee bit, grind some XP. Let your augury join. Get your playing bonus up. Get your equipment reinforced. Wait a few seconds. And again. Give me XP, boys. The beauty of this means we can now create the reason we came here. We want to make ourselves... Oh, my God. What is that? We want to make ourselves a bunker on wheels. I'll be honest with you. It's so awful. I, I want it. The only way I can think this could possibly work is if I stack just lots and lots and lots of soft attacks. I'm going to go for a secondary turret. Something I'd never recommend you guys do because they're really expensive and the stats are awful. But we're going to add on all the secondaries, which give lots of soft attack. Extra cannons. This will be a land battleship with lots of armor. Practically all the armor. Our close support going to be useful right now, but we don't have it. So in the meantime, we'll have to go for the auto cannon. Three-man turret. Twist the suspension because that's how it'll actually move forward. Take a little bit of armor off so it can actually move. Oh, and even got the icon for it. Oh, yeah. That's what I want to see. And at the same time, we're at war right now. So maybe we can request guns from someone. Oh, man, the Soviets really don't like us. Mussolini, help us. We need help. Mr. Hitler, please help us. We need help. Okay, I guess it's uh, Mussolini then, I guess. Another really good pro tip is to make all the variants look slightly differently than the others. So you could select that one for the old variant. This one for the old variant too. That way, when you put them in armies, you can clearly identify them. All right, time to actually do some damage on the front line now. And so here, actually do a strategic breaking of the front line and not just uh, uncontrolled pushes. And now at this point, because they're shuffling on the front line, they broke the entrenchment. So uh, goodbye, front line. Ah, the snake around the outside. At the same time, you can do a split to check as the vacuum, which is the natural next focus you will go for. AI loves last stand. And also King Carol loves parties as well. Mussolini, give me guns. Oh yes, 5K. Thank you very much. Oh, no improvisations. That was a waste of PP. Oh no. What do you miss? Okay, prove conversion. You know what comes next, right? Conversion, some more. <laughs> Rip. Occupy, give them the horse, and prioritize. Hitler accepts our ultimatum plan, and Czechoslovakia has been divided uh, before Austria is Anschlussed. Now that is a speed run, right? Greece, you're next on my hit list. Go here, go here. Prioritize, motorize. off you go. All right, into war artillery is done. In your game, you're going to do that immediately and not wait for it. So here we go. Big boyo, close support gun because he does lots of soft attack. You have to improve the speed slightly by dropping the armor. Go production. And then you need to make lots of variants of it. Um, give it a uh, really crappy icon so you won't forget. Boom, there we go. And we don't need guns anymore because Italy's going to sort us out. Probably going to have to import quite a considerable amount of steel. France, fund my war effort. Effort. And uh, if there are any old tanks, you know what happens to the old tanks? That's right. Right on the scrap heap. Execute the duplication. Five per week. Damn, it's not very good. I'll have to work on that. Final focus. This one for conquest. Then 750k. Three quarters of a million. We're quite far away from that. So what the best easiest thing to do is either deploy more divisions or just make the existing division bigger. Each battalion here is going to add on an extra 53,000. So I'm going to have to add on probably three or four of these to actually get to the right amount of manpower. Yeah, I think I'm probably just going to do that actually. Easier. Hop into here. There you go. 773. The earlier you go for this one, the better, because 
because uh, if you wait too long, Turkey will get guaranteed by the UK and Germany. So just be aware of that. Anyway, go Reese. And we have to bring in Bulgaria. Off you go. And all of a sudden, oh, we're low on guns. Guns are so low. Italy, help us out. Ah, oh, 5k. Thank you very much. The secret to defeating Greece is just to attack the entirety of your army and just push. Enough of those comments saying, oh, you didn't show the battle, so therefore you cheated. Whoa, I'm fighting the battles here, bro. Boom. Done. I think Bulgaria is hoping for some land here. I think not. Well, I'm not going to lie. The production cost of these heavy interwars is pretty high. I'm struggling to produce one per day. Well, we're actually producing some, so be thankful. All right, going to deploy a bunch of divisions just to make our army look artificial officially larger. Still, we can't go for secure the Bosporus. In that case, we're going to make a division that consists of a single horse and just spam those babes out. It is time for the Battle of the Bosporus. Or goal against Turkey. I say it again. Be aware that the UK and Germany will guarantee Turkey if it's later in the game. Be aware of that. Station some troops here and on the island and you should have an easy mop up of Turkey. The Bosporus. No one is guaranteeing Turkey. Perfect. Turkey. You're mine. In this case, Move from the islands at the same time. Bring in our good boy, Bulgaria. Push. And make sure you tell them to push straight after, like push directly through Istanbul. As if it's not there, just push. And we could delete that old army back now. There you go, 288k. Oof, there's the manpower I needed. In this case, we'll just hold ground a little bit. Wait for the manpower to regain and attack. Seriously, Turkey? Seriously? Are we doing this? Italy, your enemy. Turkey, right? Your enemy. Wink, wink. Yeah, your enemy. Oh, jeez. Oh. Thank you, Daddy. Never mind. You left the islands open. Easy, easy. Well, I mean, I've never had this problem before. I've never actually counterattacked Istanbul from the other side before. It's a nice problem to have. Go, go, go. I love it when you break into uh, Asia. It's like, oh, just flood that front line. Oh, yeah. Was about to end, so uh, emergency measures. Emergency weapons from Mussolini. Thank you. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the beauty of Romania. World War II hasn't kicked off yet. I've got two puppets and I've conquered practically the Balkans, Anatolia and Greece. I mean, come on guys, give me more focus trees where I can declare war early. Even if it's a challenge like this. I know it's possible. You can do it. It starts. Hang on a minute. January 1939? Oh, it's because we rushed all the Czechoslovakia focuses. Wow. We just gave a massive buff to Mr. Hitler. We let him skip one, two, three focuses. Almost a year's worth of focuses skipped. <sighs> Thank us. Anyway, justify on Yugoslavia, a nation that we're guaranteeing. Uh, yeah, it doesn't make sense, but whatever. Does it anything make sense this game? Probably not. All right, don't need those manpowers anymore. And we can make the division smaller if we need to. And also we can mithrize the genitals, uh, which gives 1% recruitable. And here we go. The production has started. 63 heavy tanks in production. The duping has begun. It is time where we begin. The interwar tank only. And you thought I was going to make a proper tank division right an actual tank division that's practical and you're actually going to want to use it on the battlefield ah welcome to my video enjoy the show that's right we're going to go with a incredibly wonky 30 combat width right yep and specify we don't want anything other than c's there we go convert all into the beast um oh dear we're a little bit behind oh well less than a year until i'm sorted out oh yeah 230 days and i'll be done and now the parties must end and then he throws one more farewell party on the way out do we go with this? No, we've got political power. We'll take the political power here. One thing you'll find from making too many heavy tanks is you'll have this issue. Traffic jams. Uh, there's not a lot you can do about this. It is what it is. Off we go. Bulgaria, you can join this war. Okay, this is probably the last one I'm going to be able to declare on and annex. Because if you get 100% world tension, it's not going to happen. How's the heavy tanks doing? They're not. <laughs> They kind of break through initially. Um, but if they can't break through initially, they just disintegrate. Hence, here we go. <laughs> A thousand of them just burning away. Uh, yeah, they, they either break through immediately or they don't. Take a deep breath, gain your resources back, off you go. This is only really kind of possible with Romania because of your oil reserves. Any other nation, you just lose all your oil. Look, look at the oil. I've still got massive oil production, but still it's like a bit of a struggle. Like, come on, you can break, you can do it. I'm starting to uh, regret this strategy. Maybe if we just made the division smaller, so therefore it makes less traffic jams. Still behind by 7,000 heavy tanks. It's a race, guys. Germany dump dumpstering France and me dumpstering Yugoslavia. If France gets dumped at first over the Yugos, then I'm in a bad way because it's 100% world tension and Yugoslavia will join the allies. <laughs> Look at them. 
They're so ugly. They look like tents with turrets on them. Romanian steel on wheels. Because these divisions have so little HP, uh, what happens is if they run out of all their strength, like go to zero from attacking too much, which probably having them on aggressive is not a good idea, they just disintegrate. So we've actually lost uh, three, four, five divisions just from bashing against their front line. I told you, this is Romanian engineering. Oh, this is a really useful button, extra supplies which just means I don't need supplies for the next few weeks. It's going to be really handy, actually. Let's wait for the reinforcements. Producing 142 of them per day. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one. Extra supplies. Off you go. Boom. Well, what do you know? Doesn't need supplies. It does what it says. Can you pierce these? Of course not. I hate the mountains. Yug. No more. Classic Romanian strategy. Uh, war propaganda against Italy. Warsaw promising peace. So that's like me putting up posters and Mussolini bad while simultaneously saying, we don't want war. War is terrible. Yeah, right. Here we go. The armies are forming. How many divisions can we get before the Soviets justify on us? We're doing the little Finland thing at the minute. So it is time. Ah, balls to it. They're going too slow. I'm justifying now. Oh boy. This isn't going to get any easier. Build the railways. Make the railways great again. Oh my goodness, and we're low on trains again. Make the trains, more trains. Make the trains great again. All right, I think we're gonna have to go for grand battle plan here, aren't we? Grand battle plan and logistics focus and professional officer course. Theater training. Nah, we won't even be fighting battles that long. Once again, we either win immediately or we lose immediately. There is no middle ground, so there's no time to grind for traits. If I exercise the whole army, I'm curious to see what the damage looks like. Oh my goodness, just bleeds. <laughs> It's the heavy tanks. The last month, we have lost 1,300 and... Well, 1,400, 1,500, just from exercise. Yeah, I don't think exercising them is the right thing to do. But divisions currently being training. I don't want to deploy the extra divisions, so war has arrived. We're going to apply, attack carefully and just see what happens. Oh, the green! Ten of two has joined the war. It's getting real now, boys. We're going to in invite Slovakia. It's about to get real. Oh, my God! It's way more effective than I thought it was going to be. And they're uh, naval invading Greece. Well, I told you there was a reason why we chose to hold these guys back. The miracle of divisions that just appear spawn out of absolute nowhere. Oh, and they run away! Oh, I really wanted to fight! Oh, that's such a shame. I really wanted to fight. The Soviet tank division versus my tank division. Oh, boo. Soviet Union demands Bas Arabia. <laughs> you know, every, every bone in my body is just click the top one just to see what happens. Oh regrets here we go kingdom of romania sees bessarabi to the soviet union <laughs> He just spawns it to them. There we go. Boom. Well, that was the easy way of getting it back, right? Are we at war with them still? Yes. <laughs> it's made no difference. This is so dumb. I love it. Ah, a peaceful exchange. Now the hostilities begin. I'm presently surprised how effective this is. So they can't pierce them. The attack penalties in terrain types is horrific, as you'd imagine, because they're just tanks. But overall, their base firepower is amazing. Once again, if you're going to do this, I feel like you have to stack lots and lots of soft attack. Because otherwise, that's what these tanks kind of lack. It's just armor and breakthrough. And you need a little bit of soft attack just to push it over the line. Battle in the mountains with heavy tanks. Old into our heavy tanks fighting in the mountain range. Impressive. Service by requirement. Manpower is becoming an issue. Bulgaria, can you give us garrison support? Oh, you can. Wow. And Slovakia letting the team side down again. Single tank taking on three divisions here. One encircled, two down, and they're down. America, fuel is up. Cities on the front. Front line is pushing eastwards. Germans have joined. Push in the Caucasus is limited because I don't want to strain the front lines, but I might have to up the railways a little bit. Oh, God, everywhere's just bust. Everything's bust. We've got 2K tanks banked here, so let's just go aggressive for a few days and just see what happens. Looks all green. This is the bit we don't really want to look at. Oh my goodness. The grinding. How are we losing artillery? We're not even using artillery. I'm so confused. Last 12 months, we have lost 20,000 heavy tanks to attrition and 21,000 to combat. And the manpower losses. Oh, yay. Well, we can't say it wasn't worth it. We definitely made some gains here. Oil problems? I think not. All of a sudden, we have all the oil in the world. Boom. Azerbaijan oil industry has opened. Civilian production just consists of building railways and naval bases. Not fun, but it is what it is. Close the fronts. And there we go. The connection has been made. And also, the Black Sea has been mined. <laughs> I should have done this at the start of the game. Can you imagine if I mined it when I was at war with Hungary and Yugoslavia? 
Yugoslavia and Greece and Turkey. There would have been like a thousand mines here. Here's a strat, boys. You can't make a good name. You just mine the one sea you have access to. Easy. Okay, extra supply here. We're just going to build depots on the end of every railway line. The ultimate weakness of this strategy isn't mass air. It's um, lack of supply depots. Pretty much big rivers are pretty bad as well. Anyway, boom. Let's go. Let's make another wave. Push to another supply depot. Can we get Stalingrad and Astrakhan? Can't be possible. Can't we be done? Probably not. All right, the supply depots are finished. Max them out. Okay, new strategy time. I think we're going to do is we're going to consolidate two of the armies. And hopefully that'll reduce the amount of supply on the front line. Maybe. I actually might not actually. We'll see. And this hopefully might make the front line a little bit less. This should hopefully relieve some of the traffic jam. A little bit more breathing space. Oh, we got, we're just about to get Astrakhan. For the second time, to be honest. Remember that. I've already had it. Around the back. And... Damn, okay. There's, uh... One part of me is surprised this works. The second part of me is I'm still going and just pushing through the low supply. Stalingrad has been taken. We've finally broken through. Another wave of supply depots later. And uh, we're back at it again. You think one month's bad? Oh, you have no idea. Oh. Oh, my. <laughs> Oh my. Ah, greater Romania. And then this little island down here. Doesn't happen very often, but all adults called up. Join the battlefield. I don't understand why this has happened, but uh, Kurdistan's got more compliance than great uh, Turkey. The Romanian Kurdistan. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, many years later. Oh yeah, we're still here. In conclusion, uh, does this work? Uh, kind of. Uh, you're going to have supply nightmares. Uh, you're going to need a lot of civvies to build railways and trains and whatnot. Uh, you're going to need a lot of military factories to kind of get it going to begin with. Uh, at least 50. Uh, but is this possible? Yeah, I guess so, which I'm kind of thankful for. It is possible. Would you ever want to do this? Hell no! I'll tell you one thing. This is one way of getting a lot of war score. We lost 3 million in total to the Soviets just from grinding their front line. Boom! Border gore! This is a world that no one will ever appreciate or love. Puppet Russia, run by the provisional government. Oh, that's actually kind of interesting, even though they've gone down the path of Marxist-Leninism. I don't think I approve of that. Ease upon conscription? Yeah, sure. Collaboration state of Hungary? Yeah, why not? A referendum for democracy? Boom, yeah, why not? <laughs> we go from Kingdom of Romania to just Romania. Just Romania. Fascist in government? I, I, I beg your pardon. Give everyone local autonomy. So, oh, no, you can join the allies. The allies are like, oh, please join this war against Germany. Oh, they're D-daying. <laughs> the fact that I've wiped out half the Romanian population by these kind of force attacks. Look at the HP on that 18. Um, I haven't got a lot of, lot of manpower left. So if I was to delete all my armies, I've got half a million manpower in the pool. I'm on service by requirement and my manpower is actually ticking down. Uh, so right now, I pretty much sure we'll hit zero manpower without an army because we've lost so men. We've lost so many men on the Eastern Front. Oh. And also, I mined the entirety of the Mediterranean. <laughs> Ah, and you thought a ship getting stuck in the Suez Canal was bad. Well, we've got a lot of problems to come. The next hundred years are going to be messy. I'm done. You think this video was good? Well, this one is the final form. Click it.